Hey guys, so if you would like to see how I turned this plain pink hoodie into this nice pearly 1908 perfect timing pullover or hoodie, whatever you guys would like to call it, keep watching this video because it turned out to be A1 perfect and it looked good. So keep watching. Okay, so before we get started with the video, I just wanted to let you guys know what this pullover and hoodie, whatever you guys like to call it, what it was for. So um, for most of you guys know that I am a member of the Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. And um, I go to school, well, I went to school at um, Delta State University and we just had our homecoming. So I wanted to have something to wear and I quite didn't know. So when I um, went to Walmart and I seen that pullover, I was like, let me get this just to see. And that's when I end up finding the pearls and this and that. So it all kind of worked out together. So that's a little short story. So continue with the video. Okay, so these were the beads that I had gotten. And they were like $4 along with the needle and thread, which is like a dollar. So um, that was very cheap and plain Jane. And let's go ahead and get this get this started like let's go all right so i was trying to see which size pearls that i want to use that i want to do like the small and big so i just decided to keep it simple with this all the um pearls the same size so we didn't do that um, so to be honest with you guys, I struggle right here. I am going to let you watch me struggle a bit. Um, I just, I had a different way of doing it, but once I got that done, I had to do it a different way. So, you know, I struggled. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Um, but all I'm doing here, I tried to, you know, tie a knot as in like I'm sewing. I don't know. I don't know what I was doing right here, but I was doing it. Um, so I tried to put the pearl over the hoodie instead of under the hoodie so don't follow these instructions right here i'm just showing y'all what i did and how i struggled the first time okay so this is what the hoodie came out to look like um i was just practice on one side of the sleeve and i ended up getting a hang of it so now i am about to show you guys the other side and how to really do it so let's go look at me acting like i know what i'm talking about but anyways y'all ignore this little background this wall is under construction and you guys will see how to look soon Okay, so I failed to mention this at the beginning of the video. Um, the needle and the thread that I had gotten for a dollar did come with thread. However, that wasn't going to be able to cover both sides of the hoodie. So I did have to end up matching the thread. Um, I will link the number or the color of the thread below so you guys can get an idea. I, um, I chose to go with that same color because the black or white or any other color would have been noticeable. I don't even know if I said that right. But anyways, you will be able to tell like the thread. So I tried to match it up and it, it just turned out good. So I don't know what I'm talking about right here, but let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. So what I'm doing here, I'm just trying to loop the thread through the little hole of the needle. That thing is so small, so I have to work with it. You probably do have to wet the tip of the thread just to get it through. Um, so yeah, it looks like I finally got it through. So the needle, well, the thread doesn't have to be too long, but I would much rather for it to be long than short. So I won't have to keep 
trying to apply it through the needle so that's what i end up doing here however you do not have to tie a knot at the end because you're gonna have to cut it anyways so um so it looks like i'm about to go under like through the hoodie if that makes sense like through the sleeve to put the needle through so you put the needle through right on there that's how you do that mm -hmm. and um and then i put the pearl on top i know y'all can't see that right now but i put the pearl on top and then i spring or spring the needle back through the hoodie without poking myself and then um as y'all can see that hold on let me fix it there you go okay so you see how i got the pearl there so now i just pull it all through the arm of the hoodie as you see there and then I just tie it. There's no particular way that I tie it. Um, I tie it multiple times just to let y'all guys know. Just so it can be secured or whatever, however y'all want to do it. Yeah, so that's all I did. And it's pretty simple. So I'm going to show you guys a couple more times. And that's about it. Like you tie your shoes. With the two bunny ears and then you loop it around that type of tie and I tie it like that a couple of times probably like three times no more than three um about five times it just depends on how I feel at the moment some of them I did more than others I know for sure but as long as you feel comfortable of how you tying it and you don't think it's gonna come apart then do it the way that you want to do it And then after I do that a couple of times, I loop it around and then pull through a couple of times as well. So loop it, then you take the needle and you loop it through first, cause if not, my first needle broke. But um, you loop it like that. I do that probably two or three times, depends on how I Um, that one through but anyways that's how i do it so i'm just gonna do this throughout the video i'm going to shut up and y'all can watch and i will um definitely i can't wait to show y'all how it's going to turn out to look so with all that looping flooping and tying did not one pearl come off that day so it was great like great okay so this is how it turned out to be like y'all it was just perfect um my mom did put the 1908 on there with her cricket machine and heating press but everything turned out to be good it looked great and i had a great time and um it was nice so thank you guys so much for watching please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and i will also be seeing you guys soon bye